Okay, so I need to go through my collection and find space for the remaining plants that are still up in my grow area. I don't know if you can see it up there, but I still have plants up there. So what to do? Um, I also still have plants uh, down on the ground here. So see, I still have plants that I brought down that I found no space for yet. So I guess I'll do an update of what's blooming while I look through my area to see what space I have. So let's see, I have some leftover Atrovialachia um, blossoms here. You can see those are going. There's some right there. Um, this is the, oh gosh, I always forget what it's called. Um, hey Rosalind, don't eat the plant. Um, uh, Pacific Paragon Honey Butter. Let me see, I just, of course, pulled this tag out. I don't know where I pulled it from. Let's see. Um, this right here is this orange. Is my Odontocidium catante Pacific Sun Spots. Um, this right here. Oh gosh, I let this get so dry. So there were three spikes. I cut one off already. Um, but look how shriveled it got. Um, it's one of the last things that come out of my grow area, and I totally or didn't water that for like a week and like everything shriveled to a crisp. But this is my Jimbo Swarm and it would be a great thing to get rid of because um, it probably won't survive but I feel bad just dumping it now if there's any hope of sort of making it live. The flowers are really pretty. Um, so let's see, I have this right here. Um, it's also fading. A lot of stuff got really hot up there, especially this is Belliara Tropic Lily Chocolate Drop. Um, my Dendrobium Unicum has just a few wussy flowers left. One flower, wussy flower left. It needs to be repot now that it's done blooming. Um, let me see. So coming back along here. Oh, and you can see right here that that is called pinto damage. Look at all that. Look at all that consumption. I had to get stuff out while he was busily chewing it all. Um, I have a reed stem epidendrum here that's blooming. Um, these look a little bit better because pinto hasn't managed to eat them. Uh, I got some vanilla here. I would really like to divide this vanilla because see this is supposed to be a variegated vanilla. And um, it put out a growth that's not variegated. So I'd really like to actually cut off that unvariegated growth and give it to someone. But you know, who wants an unvariegated piece of variegated vanilla? Um, I don't know. I guess if you do, leave a comment and we'll discuss how much shipping is to you. Uh, let's see. Um, as you see, I've got here's my. Eclandiers from Bill Rogerson hanging. This is an Intermedia. This is an Eclandier. Those Vandas, a whole bunch of the free Vandas are still alive and putting out new roots. Um, this right here is my SLC Twinkle Twinkle from Gold Country. It's also fading. A lot of the stuff has gotten too hot, but I have stuff spiking. Um, this back there, that's my um, Miltasia Dark Star Darth Beta spiking. Uh, this is my Space Race Cocoa, I believe. Um, could be wrong. It could be Hua Hua, but I think it's Space Race Cocoa. Let me look. Uh, yes, this is Space Race Cocoa. Now, I do have a second one of these somewhere. Um, not sure where. My, this is the Hua Hua, and it's in Spike. Um, this right here is Atropine by Cordigera. Um, it's 
sadly stuffed right in here. See how out of room I have. This is Epi Green Hornet in Spike. Um, let's see. So, ah, this right here is something. So this I dug out of the trash last year. Let's see if I can refocus the phone on it. Um, I've got to put down my coffee cup. So this, if you look at the size of the flowers, see how small they are, I think is an Ascocentra mini autumn. I dug it out of the trash um, last year, and at the same time, I dug another orchid out of the trash. This right here. So I don't know that they're the same thing. Um, let's see, get a good view of the side by side here out knocking my coffee cup over which is on the floor so there's the um escocentrum mini autumn or the supposed one as you can see how small those flowers are and then this is the other one that i dug out of the trash at the same time now i bloomed one um i haven't bloomed this one it's doing fine it's got new roots uh, let's see let's see new roots right here and i don't want to keep it so if anybody wants this unknown Ascacenda, right, then um, please uh, leave a comment. And if you're willing to pay shipping, I will send it to you. All right. Because, oh my gosh, look, look at this. This is, this is like, my, so yes, I have these basins of just stuff that is, blooming up so this is let's see this is fire wings right here to me all right and this is my other fire wings they're both still in bloom here um, i think it's like two months now no room for them got to figure out something um next to them is this funkyly shaped flower um i don't know if this is i think this is my first blooming of this for me this is um wild Pulmonar Wildcat Green Valley. I don't think the flowers are supposed to be small like this. I don't know. I'm going to have to go Google the picture. Um, this next to it, which needs to be divided really badly, is my Spring Bird Kurashiki. I mean, look at all the kikis coming off of that. Um, in this basket, uh, I think I showed this in my last update. This is... Um, I got this from H&R. This is uh, Zygonaria Adelaide Meadows. And then um, this right here. Yeah, this is all on the ground. This is all stuff that was in bloom that I just, I brought out last. Um, this is Dagmara Pluto's Drummer. Um, and I just don't have room for it. Um, these two are both the same thing. This is Aussie Chip right here. And they've been blooming, I think, since like February, March. Um, so many months. It's great blooming. I love them. I do have two. I would be interested in trading one. I don't know that I want to just give it away. Um, this lonely little flower right here is um uh, oriental butterfly smile um just one flower uh, late blooming uh my wanagar apple blossoms are finishing up uh let's see ah this is a richard mueller this is richard mueller by adenocarpa right here Got lots of growth on everything going along here. I mean, you can see that Shilleriana's got new growth. Uh, just trying to find what's in bloom. It's like nuts in here. I mean, look, look at how full um, that orchid wall is and compare it to what it looked like <laughs> in my ending video last week. I am so out of room. Um, oh, okay. So this is turning around Green Veil Dressy. Um, this is my Sogo Vivian 
marginata right here. I've hid the leaves down in there so that uh, they won't get burned. Um, everything's under a 50% shade cloth here. Uh, this is, um, uh, let's see, yellow song canary right here blooming. Uh, this is royal wings. It's still in bloom. It's like the Aussie chip. It's been in bloom, you know, like March. It's March. It's doing very well. Uh, ah, this is a neat little guy right here. This right here is uh, Dendrobium wazellii. Um, and, you know, it's, it's more of a stick epiphyte. Um, I have this one in semi-hydro, but it really doesn't want to be in semi-hydro. Um, I've tried it in moss. Um, it doesn't do very well that way. It really wants to just kind of be humid and not be in anything. Um, this has two spikes. So there's another spike right over here. Um, the other one isn't open yet. But uh, I am thinking of taking this out of semi-hydro. I've got another one right over here. So I've got this one that's in moss that isn't blooming. You can see it's really unhappy. And uh, just mounting it bare, bare root mounting it, seeing how well it does. Um, since I didn't used to want to do mounts because uh, watering mounts is a pain in the butt, but you know at this point it's too late to turn back. I got too many mounts now, so might as well add some more. Uh, okay, so oh here, this is um, SOS celebrates 50 down here on the ground. Um, this was in my kitchen, but I don't have any orchid display space in my kitchen since I put in the um, cool tank. So these guys are now sitting on the floor here because again, I have no place to put it up on the stuff. Um, so I think I think that's all the blooming stuff. Yeah, most of the blooming stuff is sitting on the ground because I had it inside to enjoy and now I have no place for it outside. But you can see I'm like completely full. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh here's my Schilleriana. It's blooming. I've also hidden it in um, between my Cataleas so that it doesn't get too much light. So there's the leaves of the Schilleriana over there. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, um, I still have a lot of repotting to do, um, and like all my nobly hybrid dendrobiums need to be repot like big time. Look at that. So, uh, oh, and this is precious pearl right here, which is the a dendrobium. I know it looks like uh, fire wings, but it's precious pearl. It has a different type of cane growth habit. So yeah, I just have flowers hidden everywhere. I actually, I really like this. I like the jungle look of it, but I am so out of room. So I'm going to have to find some of these things to give away or to compost. Um, oh, and this, I believe this right here, this little guy, is Oncidium ruffles. It's really small. So you see the plants like right there. And you can see how small it is inside of the tray with everything. I think that's ruffles. I'm not sure. Um, but I think it might be. And then, oh, and I have my neos are starting to spike. So this down here. So see this. Again, I can't enjoy this because it's still in this here and I need to get it up somehow. Because it's in a basket, if I can find some wire, I can hang it. So that is my um, Neo Nisha um, Falcata 4N. Um, this was um, a plant that was gonna get composted by Chicago Botanic Garden after their orchid show about two years ago. And I said, well, you know, I'll take it instead of composting it. And um, you can't see very well here, but I think it has hints of pink in it, which is really not showing up. Um, so it's not pure white. Uh, it's not very pink, it's just hints of pink. So that 
is my growing update or my blooming update, as case may be. Um, and if you have any suggestions for how I can make more space, please leave a comment. And um, I guess uh, leave a comment if you're interested in either of those two plants that I would love to get rid of and you're willing to play postage.